Last night, Governor Gretchen Whitmer outlined her priorities for the coming year in her State of the State address. As Tim Skubik reports, she let some of her personality shine through despite the sometimes serious wording of her speech. To be sure, Governor Gretchen Whitmer was all business last night, pausing here to shake hands with the new Senate Republican leader, Eric Nesbitt. She's going to need his help on some issues down the road. But also to be sure, there was electricity in the room with plenty of high fives from jubilant Democrats who were geeked to have a Democratic governor at the podium, while at the same time a democratically controlled House and Senate in front of her. That's the first time that's happened in some 40 years. The governor was very serious about passing gun safety measures, and she brought the Democrats to their feet with the loudest applause line of the night, lasting almost 30 seconds. The time for only thoughts and prayers is over. The Republicans did not stand. She was also very serious about protecting individual freedoms for everyone and pledged to go after jobs in other, quote, bigoted states that don't agree with that policy. And then she looked right in the camera and said this. I'm looking at you, Ohio and Indiana. Again, the Republicans did not applaud, which brought this ad lib from the governor. All right, I figured Ohio shade would get everyone up. She took another swipe at the Republicans for not standing regarding her proposal for daycare for every Michigan four-year-old. I know we might have different perspectives here, but I sure hope we can all get around supporting four-year-olds across Michigan. But that did not move the loyal opposition either. On a lighter note, MSU basketball coach Tom Izzo got not one but two shout-outs from the governor, and she noted that MSU has the number one supply chain program in the country. And then a sort of half-hearted, I guess I have to do this sort of thing, as she saluted the other guys down the road. Or University of Michigan's number one ranked undergrad business program. With her grit hat in hand, she urged the state to show the world. We are Michiganders, and nothing's going to get in our way. Nothing gets in her way except perhaps the legislative process and from time to time that loyal opposition. Your view in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News.